What's going on, everybody? David here, back with another video. So yesterday I posted a video about Biden wins, what's going to happen uh, with the next stimulus package. And I got a lot of people commenting saying Biden hasn't won yet and it hasn't been certified and the, the media doesn't dictate who wins. And that's true. The media does not dictate who wins. The people dictate who wins. And so we're going to talk a little bit about that. We'll talk about some of the projections. And also, I want to play a video of Lindsey Graham because he kind of says he kind of takes both sides of this issue, which I thought was interesting. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. But first off, you guys can do me a favor. Please hit the like button. It does help with the YouTube algorithm. Also, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that little bell notification. That way you'll get notified anytime we put out a video. All right. So let's talk about this. So we have the media out there projecting that Joe Biden won. And so he's now the president elect. And we saw Joe Biden yesterday. We saw his speech which I think he did a, a really good job as far as we need we're, we need to be in a point where we're starting to unite the country. Uh, right now, we're really divided. And so when it comes down to projections, yes, they're not certifications. So part of the, the comments that people are making, part of that is true. It has not been certified. But in recent history, let's just go back to 2016. It's the same thing. Media comes out, they project a winner. And usually the other side will concede. And then just like President Trump came out and declared victory. So that's usually the way that it that it happens. And usually we find this information out on the same day. And that's because the media is projecting. They're still counting votes in, in states. And in 2016, it was no different. They were still counting votes, but they were looking at a situation where they knew how many votes President Trump had back, and we're talking 2016. They knew how many votes President Trump had. They knew how many votes uh, Hillary had. And they said, okay, well, there's no way that Hillary's going to be able to catch him at this point. So that's why we're projecting uh, a winner. And same thing happened this, this year. So they're looking at Pennsylvania and they're saying, President Trump has this many votes. Joe Biden has this many votes. Okay, we're going to project it for Joe Biden because President Trump is not likely to be able to catch up to him and win. And so, that happens all the time. The votes are not always counted on election day. As a matter of fact, they're never counted on election day. Like they don't have all the numbers in. And so we only do the projections. The media only does the projections. So we kind of can move forward once we, we know, okay, this person's probably going to win because they have the votes. There's no way that this other person's going to catch them. We want to move forward. What's next when it comes to, okay, we have a president elect now. What's next? Where are we going to go from here? And so that's why they do projections. And usually the projections are right. That's what's crazy. People are talking like it's like Trump is, is going to come back. No, he's not going to come back. At this point, they wait to do the projections. We waited four days to do projections only because we wanted to make sure the numbers were correct. And so from this point on, we're looking at a situation where President-elect Joe Biden will be president. So now, when it comes to the states, there are different dates for different states to certify their votes. And so that's in the process of, of happening right now. So once all those votes are certified, the Electoral College will meet up, and then they'll say, okay, yes, this is what has been certified. These electoral votes officially go to Joe Biden or, or President Trump. And so that's what we're looking at. So in December, that's when the Electoral College will meet up. But prior to that, you're going to have states that are certifying their votes. Now, what I thought was interesting, and I'm, I'm going to play the whole clip, and this was on Fox, uh, Fox News, and this was uh, earlier today. So I'll play the whole clip of Lindsey Graham just talking about the, the necessity or why it's necessary that, that the Senate stay Republican-led. Uh, so we're going to play that. But at the very end, catch what he says at the very end, and we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about that because it was kind of interesting how he played uh, both sides here. So let's go ahead and take a look. Tell me about the Georgia runoffs in January. This is critical in terms of whether or not, uh, if Joe Biden is the president, he will be able to get through some of those progressive policies that many people right. are afraid of, like big spending programs and big tax yeah, increases. Right. Well, the most valuable player for the congressional races in 2020 is Donald Trump. The campaign that President Trump ran, all these rallies, getting bared on the court, energized Republicans and House members. We picked up seats in the House. How can you pick up seats in the House and hold the Senate 
and Trump lose. So I. Okay. So I, I want to just come in real quick. How can that happen? So how can you have a situation where you have people in the house and they gain seats, Republicans gain seats in the house, but the president is behind and looks like he's going to lose the presidency. Well, that's, that's pretty, pretty easy. People are saying, you know what? My local congressperson, they're okay, but President Trump is not in their mind. So you might have a Republican that goes into the booth and instead of voting party line, they're voting for their, their House of Representative, but when it comes to the president, they're voting for someone else. That's, that's how it happens. And so President Trump, and we know this, President Trump turned off a lot of people. And you had, like the Lincoln Project, you had groups of Republicans that were against President Trump. And so... That's what happened. That's the simple answer to, to Lindsey Graham's question there. How can that happen? That's how it happened. I can tell you right now, President Trump helped me in South Carolina. He helped Tillis. He's, uh, he helped us all. So the bottom line is House Republicans have increased their majority. They can slow down the radical agenda coming out of the House, but Senate Republicans can kill it and stop it. If we pick up these two Republican seats in Georgia, we have the ability to stop the most radical agenda in the, in the history of the United States. Kevin McCarthy can slow it down. Mitch McConnell and Lindsey Graham and others can stop it only if we win Georgia. We have to win these two seats in Georgia. I'm confident that we will. To the people of Georgia, the future of America is in your hands. Do you want a socialized America? If you don't, speak up and support our Republican candidates. Checks and balances are needed now so, more than ever. We only have a couple of seconds here. So are you committing right here, right now, that you will stop any progressive plans that come to you, you will vote no to 4.3 trillion in tax increases. You will vote no to the Green New Deal. Is that what you're committing to right here? You can take it to the bank. I ran on it. I won overwhelmingly being a impediment, a block to okay. the most radical domestic agenda in the history of the country. We will kill it dead in the Senate if you give us the majority. We will work with Biden if he wins, but okay. Trump has not lost. Do not concede, Mr. President. Fight hard. Okay, Senator, great to see you this morning. Thank you so much. All right, so that was pretty interesting. And it, it, you saw her response at the end. It was kind of like, okay, <laughs> Trump has not lost. Okay, and then she kind of moved on. Because Fox News, they projected that Biden won. So when it, when it comes down to it, if you're listening to what Lindsey Graham is saying, he's saying that I won, so he won his state, but... The votes aren't in yet, so Trump has not lost yet. Well, if you really look at it, you really want to look at things, and if you're if you're if you're playing the role of the, the votes haven't been certified, so therefore there's no winner yet. Then Lindsey Graham hasn't won yet, because guess what? South Carolina they certify their votes on November 11th. It's not November 11th, so he's technically not a winner, but he's declaring himself a winner. So I just thought that was interesting how he can declare himself a winner. And then on the other on the other hand, we can't have Joe Biden, the, the president elect. So uh, when it comes down to it, the media usually is right when it comes to their projection. There was only one time in recent history, Al Gore, George Bush, that race in 2000, where you had some projections come out and then Al Gore did not concede. And then they had to do a recount and they were doing a recount in Florida and then it went all the way up to the Supreme Court. But when it comes down to the, this whole situation now, and we're talking hundreds of votes, we're not talking situations that we're looking at now where we have thousands and thousands of votes, tens of thousands of votes. And so, yes, you can have a recount. That's fine. But usually you're not going to see a swing. Almost never will you see a swing of thousands of votes. It's just not going to happen. So tomorrow, so Monday, we'll see what the Trump administration, how they're going to move forward. Are they going to take these these cases to court as far as the votes and all that? Uh, but as of right now, we have a president-elect, Joe Biden. President Trump has lost at this point. And once all the numbers are in, then we'll, we'll have that, that certification that everyone's waiting for. Uh, but like my dad always says, two plus two equals four. You can count the numbers. The, the Secretary of State's in all the different states, they have put up the numbers. So we're looking at those numbers. We're all looking at the same numbers, calculating them, and saying, okay, this is the way it is. There's no way that Trump is going to be able to win at this point because the majority of votes have gone to his opponent. 
Uh, so I want to know what you guys think. So in the comment section, let me know down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more. Hit that little bell notification. That way you'll get notified anytime we put out a video. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.